To make a Tate mosaic painting, you will need paint, canvas, water, brushes, and scrap paper towel. In the kit provided, we have pre-taped and gessoed canvas. Once you have set up your supplies, you will want to get some larger flat brushes. Flat brushes work well for filling areas of color. You can also use a sponge to blend colors together. When using different colors of paint, make sure to wash your brush or use a different brush. Sometimes it works best to start with the lightest colors first and slowly go darker. You can do different gradients of color by going from the light colors to the dark or vice versa. You can also add white or yellow to either of any of your colors to change the shade of them. Continue to fill all of your shapes in until the whole canvas has been covered. You can smooth your brush over the area to create flat layers of paint, or you can bounce your brush to make texture within the space. You can also play around with the sponge and pre-paint it to add different texture. I find that acrylic paint looks best when it has a few coats on it, so I let this dry for about 10 minutes before going in and doing a second layer over all of the areas. I feel like this just gives it a more rich, full color but you are welcome to just leave it with one if that's what you prefer. In this video, I'm using the warm palette, but we have also provided a cool palette with green, yellow, and blue if you prefer. Once you have laid in all your colors, you can use a smaller tip brush to add texture and patterns. I just decided to go with some simple techniques like swirls, polka dots, stripes, and squiggles, but you can paint as detailed as you would like. You can let your background dry before adding your details for more crisp results. If you are painting on a wet background, you will have a different, more blended result. Do whatever you think looks best. When you are happy with how your canvas looks, close up all of your paint and wash your brushes. You will need to let your paint dry completely before peeling the tape. This may be best to leave for at least half an hour. You can also put it in front of a fan to speed up the drying process. Once your painting is completely dry, you will be able to remove the tape. There should be bits of the tape hanging over the edges and side for you to grab and pull onto. Most of the tape is overlapped, so if your piece of tape rips, you can continue with another piece of tape and just slowly work your way around the canvas. I like to keep a scrap piece of paper nearby so I can discard any scraps of tape as I peel them. Continue to remove all of the tape from the entire canvas to reveal the beautiful mosaic painting. I hope you had fun making this project and I'd love to see how your canvases turned out.